sustainable do you see the growth could be? I think the growth in China is on the process of recovery from the hit of COVID-19. And I think that recovery is steady on the right path. And uh, relatively speaking, China is doing well. Professor Lin, the U.S. economy is bouncing back, and many see China-U.S. relations as a very tricky issue. What is the best scenario, and most importantly, what is the worst scenario? I think that, uh, well, many people talk about the cold world, but I don't think that will not be the worst scenario in China. Because if you look at the cold world between the U.S. and the former Soviet Union, they were separate economic systems. They did not have much trade, they did not have much exchanges, both goods, financial you know, resources, and the personnel you know, exchanges. But China now and the U.S. are quite integrated, and I don't think it's possible to fully separate from the Chinese economy and the U.S. economy. However, some argue that the so so-called Biden economics, huh? the characteristics of it is the containment of China. I think that's their intention. But it doesn't mean that they can fully realize their intention. Because at the end, every country is doing policies to the benefit of their own country. And as I mentioned, certainly they have the intention to contain the growth of China. But the containment of China they also need to pay a high cost to their economy now and in the future. I think the most important thing is that we do our things well. We do the right thing to grow the Chinese economy. We exploit our potential and we manage our economy. I think by that, U.S. will see to have a good relation with China is to its own benefit. China has been, Professor, then, as you just mentioned, committed to 3060 agenda on carbon, carbon peak, carbon neutrality. Yeah. Now, the amount that we're talking about today, yeah. only 50% can be done with the current technology and innovation, with the current energy efficiency and use of renewable energy, and also with the current governance and operational styles. There are other 50% in this overall goal that cannot be achieved unless we have real innovation in the future. I think we have a saying, there's a will, there's a way. As you mentioned, based on current technology, we can only achieve half of the targets, but we committed to meet the targets. So that means we will spend more resources to innovate new technology new ways of use of the existing technologies and to reduce the carbon emission. And those kind of investment in technology itself is a driver of growth. And once you have the new technology, you need to have the policy framework to encourage people to adopt the new technology. And certainly there are some costs for that. And so that's the reason why if we do not care about this goal, we should be able to grow it to 8%. But since we want to have not only growth, we also want to have high quality growth and we want to meet our commitment to the global communities. And under the kind of scenarios, certainly the growth may be, you know, moderate somewhat compared to the growth potential. But if we can do that, I think China will have a much better quality of life and China can contribute to the global effort of the climate change. And so, you know, certainly it's an act of balance. And I think, you know, even we consider those act of balance, mm -hmm. the potential is still there. For the advanced country, they need to do more because fundamentally the causes of the, you know, carbon in the atmosphere was mostly contributed by the industrialized advanced country. And uh, for the climate change, as you know, the principle is common and differentiated responsibility. We commit to that and we take the responsibility. Certainly compared to the advanced country, the carbon prices in China is lower 
But compared to other developing country, it's quite high. Right. Yeah. And so if we do our due share, we took our responsibility and we honor our commitment. And I think that with this kind of carbon you know, trading, carbon market, I'm sure it will contribute to the you know, effort for reducing carbon emission and to pick the carbon emission by the time of 2030 and also to reach carbon neutrality by 2060.